Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Chargers. of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. carry now for the BYU man it's Jamal Williams and he'll be corralled right around the 34 how best to describe that one I'd say right down Broadway on that run a straight ahead running I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today well he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game now Lawrence on first down Throwing the out loud incomplete. It's Williams. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On the counter, here's Williams. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ground? Absolutely. Run? You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, you know, this club, there were some reports earlier in the week, and most have heard this by now, the so-called unnamed sources that were saying all is not rosy in that locker room. There's whispers that one or two guys, CD, have kind of had enough of how things are going and have been going. How would you handle that as a coach? Well, you and I both know all the coaches that we've dealt with and come in contact with. They'd love to get their hands on those unnamed sources, wouldn't they? But they know that that's not possible. So I think they've got to go in there and make sure that this isn't a distraction. They also know that once the grumbling starts, it becomes a slippery slope and it's hard to stop the fall. I think you need to sit some guys down and say, hey, look, we're still hoping to be a playoff team this year. We need you guys to be bought in with what we're doing. Come on, let's get on board. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Now Williams. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in a long-distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt 
I believe he'll do it a second time. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. This from 44 yards away. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. Touchdown, Patriots. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Now this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, though. You know, get, get some fresh air, a little sun on your face. A little, a little wind in there. Yeah, that's right. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. now on first down escaping the pressure right and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down partner he was going through his progressions not there not there after about the third one he decided he better pull it down and run for it and he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure working with a second and three Now Carr, eluding the pressure right. Over the middle complete, it's Hunt. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And I like the idea here, get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Chargers, 
second and seven. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And that's incomplete. And Charles, you, you wonder about this defense coming in. I mean, look, it's no secret they're playing a team that's down on its luck right now. Losers of five straight. How does that change how you prepare for a game? Well, to me, the first thought is you just get after them early, right? Take away any chance of them building any confidence. But the second thing is you prepare a little bit differently. You've got to expect this team to take chances, go for it on third and fourth downs, run a lot of trick plays, anything to try and break their losing streak. So you must stay alert and stay aware. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Swings this out for Hunt. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up a third down. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Kareem Hunt, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied here in the second quarter. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. at the line ready to go and they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago and this is a team Charles that just has not been able to string victories together yeah they're certainly going the wrong way aren't they because it looked like they had things going in the right direction but now they've lost two straight and that means this game is vital extremely important because if they fall two games below 500 the road back into playoff contention awfully difficult Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Lawrence will throw. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 51 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh?
So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he whips that one incomplete there. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the gun, it's Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. On third down, Lawrence. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up? The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Got an open man, he completes it to Callaway. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Play action. It's Lawrence. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Flush to his right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Chargers will take over here just shy of the 30. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last <laughs> week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like an hour of time. And you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see what they opt to do with just 14 seconds remaining until intermission. 
Flushed out right. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Here's Carr. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Card out of throw. He's going to look deep for more. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Yeah, the final tally, as told by Next Gen Stats, he hit 21 and a half miles per hour. Whoa. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come over with nothing. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. A great effort there. 79 yards. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That 
So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. Tied after the first two drives of the third quarter. One for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Out of the gun, they run it with Hunt. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. It's now a second and six. Throwing now is Carr. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. I know you don't get anything extra for degree of difficulty, but maybe you should. He's done absolutely everything in this game today, including laying out for that one. They'll run on first down. Hunt, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. From the 24, Carr. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Christian Wilkins. Excellent job on that play. A big, big loss. 18 yards. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now a play fake. Carr. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. Despite a pickup of 16, they're still well short of the sticks on fourth. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. And no move to pull Carr and the offense off. They're going to go on fourth down. Throw for it on fourth down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Into the red zone, it's Carr. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him.
The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. On play action, now Carr. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Touchdown, Chargers! George Kittle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The pads at the line, ready to go. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Chargers are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Well, his arm strength, never an issue, but this one winds up in the wrong hands. Oh, the coverage here is just terrific because when it's done really well, sometimes you can't distinguish whether it's the receiver or the defensive back the ball's intended for. He actually ran with him in perfect motion and able to make a big-time play. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Carr. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. So the P.I. decline, and that'll give him a fresh set of downs. And when you scout tight ends, one thing you want to know, just how strong they are. And we saw it in evidence there. He was able to fight through all the contact and still secure the football. First and 10, here's Carr, and his pass incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Second and 10. To throw his car. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Again, it's Carr. And this is caught. He hits more. 
And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating defensively. You're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call, it's working. They're handling things up front. And it's not just the offensive line. It's everyone. You're seeing the guys on the perimeter blocking downfield and making sure that they're secure. So, yeah, you're exactly right. The air is out of the balloon. And right now, they're almost lifeless. A gain of three, second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. the delay here's Hunt and able to get him down but he does reach the five 65 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times I have to chuckle to myself a little bit Brandon because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line I know exactly what they're saying if you call a pass play here we're going to call a timeout. Run the football <laughs> we've got control of this thing get him behind us and let's go their time to shine And they'll try the option on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Now I'm assuming they're keeping this football on the ground, right? I would think so because you're looking at the clock. That's in your favor. You look at the geography of the field, right, where you are. That's in your favor as well. Keep it on the ground. Keep pounding. Run that clock down. You got everything working in your direction. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Car to throw. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And a fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they've got it up past the 35, so pretty good starting field position. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, was a pretty one play and interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, 
Do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. Extra point by Seibert, up and good, as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Carr going to look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers, and they were booing Charles by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one or thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So, for the Chargers, it'll be a much happier locker room here as they get that first win after five straight losses to start the year.